Greetings everyone, Pete Pardo here from Sea of Tranquility. Welcome to day nine of my favorite albums to listen to in the summertime. Summertime listening. Albums that go hand in hand with the warmer months, spending time outside doing any number of different activities, right? The music, the soundtracks. In the summertime. That's right, that's what we're going for here. Doing it all month here in July 2024 today for day nine this is the debut album from this band we've got a few debuts on this countdown so far something about 70s debuts really seem to kind of hit home this is uh, an international band british guy there were british guys in the band american guys in the band released march 8th 1977 recorded at the hit factory and atlantic recording studios in new york city Produced by John Sinclair and Gary Lyons, along with a couple guys in the band for Atlantic Records. I'm talking about Foreigner. Self-titled debut release. Yeah. Kind of a supergroup of sorts, right? Because we've got guys who have uh, come from other places. Other big bands. Of course, a kind of unknown singer from upstate New York, Mr. Lou Graham on lead vocals. Don't sleep on his band before this black sheep really good if you like kind of bad company free bluesy hard rock very very good band mick jones of course coming over from spooky tooth on keyboards league rhythm guitars backing vocals sings a little lead vocals on this album as well ian mcdonald of course from king crimson keyboards guitar saxophone flute backing vocals al greenwood keyboards and synthesizers ed gagliardi bass and backing vocals and dennis elliott on drums and backing vocals as well classic album pretty much start to finish not a weak spot on this album this is an album full of rock anthems one after another after another big guitars big vocals big choruses just tasty amount of keys and reeds and things like that um yeah this is like classic hard rock at its finest right feels like the first time so memorable that's a hanging out with friends and family by the pool just celebrating the, the great weather kind of track cold as ice <laughs> ain't nothing icy about the summertime right except if you're inside with the ac on right Great track. Star Rider, of course, they're kind of proggy, epic on this album. Head Knocker, great hard rocking, memorable track. Damage is Done, another anthem. Long, long way from home. Banger of a track. Woman, a oh woman, at war with the world. How heavy is that track? So good. Fool for Your Anyway, one of the mellower tracks on the album. And then I Need You, right? Another kind of emotional but great anthemic track. Just, man, boom, boom, boom. Ten songs. Not a weak moment on it. Just uh, little bits of flavors of all sorts of stuff all over the place. Absolutely love it. Just a great album. And again, most people know all this stuff really, really well. This is uh, the Foreigner album that everyone gets fired up with. And most of these songs are pretty well known to most rock fans, right? So this is always a great pick to put on when you got a party of people going and having, happening, you know. All right, so what do we got here on the charts? Australia, number nine. Canada, number six. Over in Japan, this made it to number 57, and the U.S. Billboard Top 200 charts made it to number 4. Surprisingly, not didn't chart in a lot of other places, right? It's, I think it's still a debut album. I think the word of Foreigner is still waiting to be spread, but, you know, I think this band were always way bigger here at home. Well, not really home for half the band, right? Always bigger here in the States uh, than in other parts of the world, but they did very well in other parts of the world, too, but just I think they were always much bigger here. Certifications Australia, platinum, 70,000 units sold. Canada, platinum, 100,000. Japan, gold, 100,000. Netherlands, gold, 50,000. And here in the States, five times platinum, five million copies sold. That's not too shabby at all. As far as the singles, feels like the first time released in March 77, Cold as Ice July of 77, and Long, Long Way From Home in 77. Those are the actual singles, but as we know, uh, pretty much half the album, if not 60-70% of the album, was has been played on classic rock radio, right? Maybe not released as actual singles, but FM rock radio picked up on this album, and the next one, and the next one, and the next one. Uh, so we heard lots of lots of songs from these Foreigner albums on the radio. So, yeah, a great one. Foreigner, self-titled debut. Tal is a fan, are you? Right? You a fan of this one? 
Right? You like this album? It's Foreigner. <laughs> she likes it. She likes it. She really likes it. I really like it, Daddy. So uh, there you have it. That's my pick for today. Let us know what you think of Foreigner's debut down in the comments below as well as your pick for today. And we'll see you tomorrow for day 10, right? So visit us on the web at www.seatranquility.org. We're on Facebook. We're on YouTube all together all the damn time. Please subscribe if you haven't already and click on that notification bell so you get alerted of all of our content as a post. And please do hit the like button before you leave. Also down below, we've got the links to our Ko-Fi page for channel donations, our merch page, and our cameo page. Thank you in advance for all your support there. And we'll see you soon here with more stuff. IMP Parlor coming up here on the channel. We've got, of course, the Monsters Den coming up on Thursday. Friday morning at the Fun House with Martin Popoff. The Professor's Picks with Ken Golden. Saturday is the UK Connection. Sunday, ranking the albums of Paul McCartney solo, along with Rick Labonte. He and I will be tackling that very hard task. 15 solo albums. We're not doing the covers albums. There's like two covers albums and one soundtrack thing. We're not doing that either. Uh, but all the other 15 albums we're tackling, so that'll be coming up on Sunday. Uh, also hope to get you another Music Musings from the Wild this week. Uh, that will be this one I've talked about a couple times already, which is this whole concept of Jimi Hendrix and Eddie Van Halen. Who's the more innovative? Who's the more kind of groundbreaking? All that sort of thing. I'm going to be kind of thinking about that and tossing out my thoughts to you guys. That's coming up also this week, so uh, lots happening. Stay tuned for all of it and more. I am Pete Pardo. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.